Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will talk about general features and attachments of pubis bone. We know that pubis bone forms the anterior inferior part of hip bone. It also forms the anterior margin of the obturator foramen, and it forms the anterior one fifth of the stabulum. This is the stabulum, and its anterior one fifth is formed by pubis. Now, the parts of pubis. Pubis has got a body. A superior ramus and an inferior ramus. First, we will talk about the body of pubis. Body of pubis has got a superior border, which is known as the pubic crest. A pubic tubercle, which is located at the lateral end of pubic crest. This is this is pubic crest. This is pubic tubercle, and it also has got three surfaces. Anterior surface, posterior surface, medial surface, or symphysial surface. So the body of pubis has got pubic crest or its superior border, a pubic tubercle at its lateral end of pubic crest, anterior surface, posterior surface, and the symphysial surface. The anterior surface of body of pubis is. supro medially rough you can see here it is supro medially rough and smooth elsewhere you it means that it is rough only in its superior and medial part the other remaining part of the anterior surface is smooth while the posterior or pelvic surface of body of pubis is smooth in its whole extent while the medial or symphysial surface is rough it give a provides attachment to symphysial cartilage which comes in contact with the symphysial cartilage of opposite hip bone to form the pubic symphysis now come towards the superior ramus superior ramus extends from the body of pubis to the iliopubic eminence it has got three surfaces and three borders first of all the superior border the superior border is called the pectineal line or pectin pubis it arises from just behind the pubic tubercle and extends up to the iliopubic eminence the anterior border of superior ramus is called the obturator crest it extends from the pubic tubercle to the acetabular notch now the inferior border of superior ramus extends from body of pubis to the posterior part of iliopubic eminence and it forms the anterior margin of obturator foramen now we will discuss the surfaces of pubic uh, surfaces of superior ramus this is the anterior surface or pectineal surface which is located between anterior uh, between superior and anterior borders this is the pelvic or posterior surface which is located between anterior uh, superior and inferior borders and the inferior surface or obturator foramen is located between anterior and inferior borders now the inferior ramus the inferior ramus of uh, pubis extends from the body of pubis on the medial side of obturator foramen and meets with the uh, ramus of ischium to form the combined ischiopubic ramus so these are all about the general features now we will discuss about the attachments on the pubis bone first of all the pubic tubercle this is the pubic tubercle it provides attachment to medial head of inguinal ligament and it also provides attachment to ascending loops of trimester muscle the pubic crest on its medial side is crossed by the medial head of rectus abdominis while its lateral end provides attachment to lateral head of rectus abdominis and the pyramidalis muscle now the attachments on anterior surface of body of pubis are medial it provides attachment to medial pubic ligament your anterior pubic ligament the angle between medial uh, pubic crest and the symphysis this it provides attachment to the adductor longus muscle here the medial margin of pubic symphysis provides attachment to gracilis muscle and it extends up to the ramus of ischium lateral to the gracilis muscle there is the origin of adductor brevis muscle and lateral to the adductor brevis and close to the obturator foramen 
there is the origin of obturator external muscle so these are attachments on anterior side of or outer surface of body of pubis adductor longus gracilis adductor brevis and obturator externus now the attachments on pelvic surface of body of pubis are the uh, levator any in its middle part and lately to the obturator internus and middle it provides attachment to the pubo-prostatic or pubo-vesical ligament it also forms the part of the anterior wall of uh, anterior wall of true pelvis and it is and it is related to the urinary bladder bladder now we will discuss the attachments on pectineal line and pectineal surface the pectineal line at its medial end provides attachment to conjoint ligament Um, anteriorly and posteriorly to the lacunar ligament. Rest, the rest of the whole of the pectin pectineal line provides attachment to the pectineal ligament of Cooper. The pectineal line also provides origin to the pectineus muscle, and fascia covering the pectineus and the soas mi minor muscle is inserted on this pectineal line. Now the pectineal surface, its upper part provides attachment or origin to the pectineus muscle. while the pelvic surface of superior ramus provides no attachment but is crossed by the round ligament of uterus in females and by ductus deferens in males now the attachments on conjoint istiopubic rami the it has the conjoint istiopubic rami has got an upper upper border lower border outer surface and inner surface its upper border provides attachment to obturator membrane its lower border provides attachment to crest penis and to the fascia lata and to also to the colles fascia of perineum the lateral border is inverted or projected to provide attachment to the crest penis in males you can see here the inner uh, the outer surface of fascia pubic rami provides attachment to obturator externus near the margin of the obturator foramen then it provides attachment also to the obturator brevis which extending from the if we uh, um, anterior surface of body of pubis it also provides attachment to gracilis and it also provides attachment to adductor magnus so attachments on outer surface of ischio pubic rami are of the externus then we have uh, adductor brevis then gracilis also from ischio to brosti and from the ramus of ischium we have got adductor magnus other attachments on inner surface the inner surface of ischio pubic rami provides attachment to first of all to <coughs> the up, the inner surface of uh, ischio pubic rami has got two ridges two faint ridges upper ridge and lower ridge the upper ridge provides attachment to superior ramus of urogenital diaphragm the lower ridge provides attachment to lower uh, fascia of urogenital diaphragm or to the peroneal membrane both of these form the urogenital diaphragm upwards the upper area so these ridges convert the inner surface of ischio pubic rami into three areas upper middle and lower the upper area near the obturator foramen provides attachment to obturator internus the middle area provides attachment to deep transverse perineal muscle and to the sphincter urethral muscle and it is also related to the dorsal nerve to the penis and to the internal pudendal uh, internal pudendal vessels and the lower area provides attachment to the ischio cavernosus and superficial transverse perineal muscles so these are all about the pubic bone thanks for watching